Parramatta Eels recruit Will Hopuate has met his coach and teammates for the first time today after returning from a two-year Mormon mission. Hopuate says there's a lot of hard work ahead after spending so much time away from the game. Christian Jansen has a story for us. After collecting back-to-back -back wooden spoons, the only way is up for the Parramatta Eels and one man who will play an important role in that resurgence is Will Hopawati. He returned to Sydney yesterday from a Mormon mission, a two-year Mormon mission, but he's not at all worried about his time out of the game. It'll definitely be a challenge, but it's a challenge that I'm, I'm looking forward to. I know it's going to take hard work, um, and I'm willing to put in the hard work and doing what it, whatever it is the Brad and the coaching staff are inviting me to do. So I'm looking forward to the challenge. Well, he certainly hasn't let himself go. In fact, the Eels sent up 920 kilograms of gym equipment, which they set up as a private gym in the back of his church in Brisbane. As a result, the 21-year-old has returned a much fitter and faster player. And his new coach, Brad Arthur, says we certainly haven't seen the best of him. Our fans should be excited, you know, um, with the potential that we've got in the rest of the group and some new players coming in, I think Will can only add to it. But, he, you know, he's only one small piece of the puzzle for all of us. You know, there's a lot of, you've got some new staff, we've got some new players, so Will's just going to have to play his role. And, you know, we don't expect any more of him than, you know, any other player in the group. Formerly a fullback or a winger at Manly and where he played State of Origin for New South Wales, Hopper White is going to be playing in the centres for the Eels. But his first job is to rebuild a club that's been one of the major disappointments of the NRL in the past couple of years. Stronger winds and firmer greens made low scoring difficult, but Adam Scott went into the day with a two-shot buffer. Oh, great shot. Really wiped the flag out. Luck deserted the world number two on the front nine. Six straight pars were followed by back-to-back -back bogeys, his first drop shots of the tournament. Oh, a bit close to the water there. The usually colourful Ricky Fowler dressed down for the occasion, but he made his move. Good read. Who cares? It's in. At one stage, Aussie David McKenzie joined Scott and Fowler in a three-way tie for the lead until Scott lost his concentration. It was catching. Oh, my word. The American carded an even pass 71 to sit three off the pace. Michael Wright played himself into contention with an impressive 68. Not a bad result. But on a day when many of the contenders struggled, Scott was rock solid. I didn't see too many good scores out there. Uh, the course was playing tricky, obviously. The wind gusting across the greens made it hard to make a lot of putts. Christian Jansen, Nine News. Good evening and welcome to Fox Sports News and Views. I'm Ben Way. I'm Christian Jansen. Thanks very much for joining us. Let's look at our top stories this evening. A Maloney gets the Blues 5'8 job. He's a mature age player. Uh, he's played in the grand final. He's played in some really big games. Kangaroo killer. Another heartbreaking loss. If you went there watching it firsthand, it's unbelievable. It's just, uh, the ability to lose the unlosable. It's just absolutely diabolical in the end. Buddy's great day against the Suns. He's back. Buddy Boy's back. And pups under no illusions ahead of the Ashes. We know there's a lot of work to, to do um, and we've got to play some amazing cricket, but I know all the players are up for the challenge. Yeah, the Aussie cricketers are on their way to England, but let's start with some rugby league because mobility, composure and size, they seem to be the buzzwords for the Blues side for Origin, which new coach Laurie Daly hopes will be the squad that sees out the series. Among the notable selections, uh, Canberra's Blake Ferguson was picked on the wing, Sharks prop Andrew Fafita was on the bench and James Maloney got the nod at 5'8", the head of Todd Carney. Let's take a look at the Blues side. Jared Haynes, the fullback, the wingers, Brett Morris and Blake Ferguson, the centres of Jennings and Josh Morris. Maloney and Pierce are the halves and a pretty good in-form forward pack of Gallen, Farah, Tamo, Hoffman, Lewis and Bird. And the bench, Kurt Gidley will be the utility player along with the three forwards, Watmo, Merrin and another debutant, Andrew Fafita. To AFL now, and for the second week in a row, North Melbourne have suffered another amazing final quarter collapse. Adelaide wiped out a 30-point deficit with the final five goals of the game, a thrilling one-point win lifting them into the eight. 
And let's get on to the AFL. Brisbane Lions up against Collingwood's our first match. You have to say the Lions are vulnerable here. Coming off the disappointing loss to the Blues, Jonathan Brown suspended. Lewenberg is out three to four weeks. Rockliffe, Mays, a stack of players out. Now, it's their only Friday night game of the year, so they will be trying. It is their big stage, but they're up against the Collingwood side that has Didak and Heath Shaw back. Uh, Collingwood, they've actually gone win-loss, win-loss since round two, which means win here. Yeah, got to back the pies, and maybe with the 28 and a half, giving that away. Yeah, quite a turnaround from the Warriors in the NRL, but in the AFL, Melbourne have suffered another humiliating defeat, this time by the hands of the Fremantle Dockers in Perth. The informed Doggers kicked 10 unanswered goals in the first half on the way to a 90-point thrashing. The Dockers have the AFL's best defensive stats and their relentless pressure got to the Demons early. Yeah, thanks to Bernie Cohen there. Now Dutchman Ian Robin has scored a late winner against Borussia Dortmund to help Bayern Munich complete a domestic European double. It was a highly entertaining Champions League final. Former Melbourne victory keeper Mitch Langerak was on the Dortmund bench. But his hopes of becoming the first Aussie since Jelko Kalats in 2007 to collect a winner's medal was dashed by Robin's brilliance.